Welcome to morning prayer for Saturday the 21st of November. I'm Canon Andrew Eaton here at St Luke's Walls End with Father Philip Morris. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 50. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Lord our God, the Mighty One, has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting in the west. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God has shone out in glory. Our God is coming. He will not keep silent. Before him is devouring fire, and tempest whirls about him. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth, so he may judge his people. Gather to me, my faithful ones, those who by sacrifice made a covenant with me. The heaven shall proclaim his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Listen, my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I am God, your God, and I will give my testimony. It is not for your sacrifices that I reprove you, for your burnt offerings are always before me. I will take no bull from your farms, or he goat from your pens, for all the beasts of the forest belong to me, and so do the cattle upon the mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and the grasshoppers of the field are in my sight. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the whole world is mine, and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will bring you out, and you shall glorify me. But God says to the wicked, What have you to do with reciting my laws? or taking my covenant on your lips, seeing you loathe discipline, and have tossed my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you went along with him, and you threw in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your mouth in evil, and your tongue strings lies together. You sit and speak against your own kin, and slander your mother's children. These things you have done, and I held my tongue, and you thought I was just such another as yourself. But I will convict you, and set before your eyes what you have done. O oh, consider this, you who forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be no one to save you. He honours me who brings sacrifice of thanksgiving. 
and to him who keeps to my way, I will show the salvation of God. Creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation, receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, beginning at the 14th verse. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. They came to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. <coughs> Just then, there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. They were all amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. At once, his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. For he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, whose sovereign purpose none can make void, give us faith to be steadfast amid the tumults of this world, knowing that your kingdom shall come, and your will be done to your eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bring before you the needs of the world and the Church this day. 
We bring before you those things that weigh heavy on our hearts, our hopes, our joys, our lamenting and our griefs. We pray for all we will meet this day, that we may shine forth the light of Christ to them. We give thanks for the first peoples of this diocese, especially the Awabakal, Biripai, Darkenjung, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We pray for your church throughout the world. For Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury. For Geoffrey, our Archbishop. Glenn, our Metropolitan. Peter, our Bishop. Sonia and Charlie, our, his assistants. We pray for the Diocese of Guadalcanal. And for the parishes, the clergy and people of Adamstown, All Saints Anew, Cameron Park, Georgetown, and Micah Ministries. We pray for students throughout our diocese, especially those who have recently finished exams and their high school education. And especially for the staff, students, and chaplains of Scone Grammar School. We pray for peace throughout the world, that in places of war and violence and injustice, your kingdom may flow like a river. We pray especially for the Holy Land, for refugees and asylum seekers, especially those in detention in this country. pray for ourselves, our families and friends, for those known to us who have suffered in any way during this COVID pandemic. We continue to pray for doctors, nurses, first responders, medical scientists and those seeking to find a vaccine and a cure to COVID-19. We pray for the resilience of those struggling through unemployment or underemployment at this time. We pray for our communities that we may continue to lift up the least of those among us as Christ called us to do. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.